Hi everyone, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So uh, I am Jay Arora and I am recently pursuing my masters from IIT Delhi in construction technology and management. So as you all know that the results of the COPE round 1 were declared today morning at almost 10:15 am and you might have seen that what offers you have got so in this video i will be talking about what is what will be the next step after receiving those offers you have a kind of good time to lock your choices to go for your decision but before making a decision you should basically know that what are the parameters that you should be focusing on before making your decision because the decision will be very important because you have still four rounds remaining plus you have the spot rounds remaining so the decision should be made uh, by considering all those uh, parameters so uh, there will be kind of three categories of the people the very first category will be comprising of all those students who did not receive any offer at all in the first round so uh, that is very common because suppose if you have a grade score of 700 then the application form that you filled was also filled by a student that had a grade score of 950 900 850 800 so there is a very high chance that all those students would have gotten the seat before you and that is very definite because they have a grade score higher than yours but such students usually fill very limited number of forms and they accept their seats in the starting rounds only like first round second round they do not go for third round or fourth round because they get a very good seat or very good offer in the first or second round only so they are out of the process after the second round so after the second round only you will be getting a good offer because if they apply retain and wait on the good offer then also they can just apply those retain and wait decision for a maximum of two time on a same offer so they will not be having uh, they will not be participating in the third round or in the fourth round most probably so if you did not get any offer there is no need to get demotivated there are many students i know who do not get any offer even in the main rounds but they get their offers in the spot rounds and that to a good offer so there is no need to get demotivated at this point of time you should uh, feel motivated plus for the students who did not get any offer so there is no need to take the decision there is no need to accept or there is no need to retain because they did not get any offer at all so they just need to chill they just need to stay motivated and they need to log in in the round 2 of the cop process uh, in the same way they logged in today and uh, they need to see what offer they get in the round 2 and they should uh, wait for the round 2 get to get started now second category consists of the students who got just one offer so uh, who get who got just one offer even if you got the offer which is a uh, not favorable or kind of not likable offer the offer that you don't like or the offer from the iit or the, from the institute that you do not want to join or the branch that is not at all desirable that is not at all likable then then also i will suggest you to retain and wait that particular offer because that offer may have a chance to get updated plus in the second round in the round number 2 of the co process you will still have that offer with you even if you do not get any other offer then also you will have that particular offer with you and in the second round also if you still do not get any other offer except the offer that you had in the round 1 then you can still uh, retain and wait that offer once again that will be the last time you can do that particular retain and wait for that same offer so the students who got one offer instead of rejecting or instead of accepting accepting is never preferred in round 1 and round 2 you should always accept your seat in the round 3 because you should explore the cope and you should explore your luck as well that what uh, what all uh, institutes can uh, the what all offers can you get from what all institutes so that will be clear up to round 3 so do not accept and also do not reject at least retain and wait for your offer to get updated or for your 
at least if not updated if not new offer then at least you will have that offer in hand if if everything goes in a bad situation then you will have that offer now the third and the final category comprises of the students who got multiple offers now who will get multiple offers in round one the very first clear point should be that the students who have very good score like for general candidates the students who have kind of uh, get score more than 700 i'm talking about the top iits or the very good iits the students who have very good score like in general uh, a score greater than 700 is considered considered kind of good those students might have some or the other offer from some or the other iit so those students should consider all the parameters suppose they got three offers like one from iit delhi one from ism dhanbad or one from say iit madras so they should consider the parameters like placements or because they cannot retain every offer they will just have the option to retain one offer i will suggest again that not to accept any any of the three offers you can again retain those offers but if you like the offer very much like if you got isc bangalore and if you do not have the hopes to uh, hopes for any other colleges you just wished for getting isc bangalore then then there is no other way around then you should accept your seat but if you wish to get your uh, seat or branch updated then you should retain and wait and the, which offer should be retained and wait the offer should be retained and wait as per the parameters the parameters are placements and the uh, the uh, preparation the strategy the, the kind of uh, what do we say if you want to prepare or if you want to get placed from the institute itself then this is another parameter that whether the institute will have the enough uh, workload whether the institute will have the enough time for your preparation and so on so all these parameters should be considered how can you uh, see the placements the placements cannot be seen from the sites because uh, barely they upload the placement st uh, stats you can contact the seniors via linkedin or via instagram or via facebook there are several groups on telegram on, on those in those telegram groups many seniors are added you can talk to them you can ask them uh, your queries regarding the placements regarding the workload regarding the syllabus and whatever you wish to ask you can ask them directly and based on all these parameters you should select the offer that is most desirable that is most preferable to you so do not hurry the time the duration of uh, decision in the cope is given just because the student should not face any confusion in the later stage of their life and they can think about their offers they can think about the branches that they have got in the first round itself so the time is given utilize your time think about the placement scenario and whatever parameters you wish to consider uh, take into account all those parameters and then only take your decision the decision should not be made in a hurry and keep calm stay motivated don't feel stressed at all and you can also contact me via instagram or in the comment section and you can ask your queries regarding co process or uh, i have one more media, uh, video uploaded on my channel that discusses the complete details about the all the pro, all the rounds of co 1 2 3 4 5 and also about the spot rounds so you can check out that video and if you still have any query then you can uh, contact me uh, if 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 that query is under my knowledge i will definitely address your query so that's all about cope round 1 stay connected and subscribe the channel i will be uploading the videos for every round of cope and will be guiding you completely throughout the cope process so that you reach your goal ultimately so thank you everyone goodbye